In this video, we'll work on Ruth chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. But first, I made a mistake when I was entering the vocabulary. If we go here to lie, when I saw this, I thought it was something like, like John lied to Mary. But that's not what this is saying. Uh, this is saying something like, like Mary is laying on the floor. This isn't lie to say something that's false. This is like Mary is laying on the floor. So these aren't these forms aren't correct. So the past tense of this is lay. And the perfect is lane. Lying is fine and lies. And the same for down here. Lie down. Mary lay down on the floor. Past tense is lay. Mary lay down on the floor. Mary has lain down on the floor. Mary's lying on the floor. And we don't need this down here. Okay. So now these are fine. Now let's work on Ruth chapter 3, verse 1. Okay, to meet. To meet someone that you know. Have a meeting. I don't think we'll need this rule. Generated text is identical. To find. Okay, there's a beneficiary noun phrase in Ruth 3.1. Naomi found a husband for Ruth. There's also a destination noun phrase in Genesis 43.21. The brothers found the money in the bag. Now there the destination noun phrase includes the preposition because it might be the brothers found the money by the tree or under the bridge. So the, the preposition will be included in the semantic representations. So for the destination noun phrase, we'll say oblique one, but we won't specify a preposition. This will be oblique two with the preposition for. And we don't need all this. Okay. My daughter, I'll have to find a person. My daughter, I have to find a person who will take care of you well. Okay, I'll, I will have to. Either way is fine. Uh, this goes back all the way when we imported our phrase builder rule for verbs. You may remember back in this document. Here, John will have to walk. And here's an example from the Bible, Genesis 6:19. You'll have to bring all kinds of animals into this ark. Those are fine, but we could also say, you have to bring all kinds of animals. God could say to Noah, you have to bring all kinds of animals into this ark. And, and Noah would know that's in the future tomorrow or next month or sometime. For, for must obligation, often we don't include the word will. And here the MTT didn't include will, and I actually think that's better. Um, which brings me to a point I'd like to mention. When, you're, when your MTTs are translating these sentences, just sentences in isolation, they will give you valid answers. But sometimes, when you're working in the Bible and the sentences are in context, they might give you different answers. When that's the situation, you always go with what they give you for in the Bible, for, for sentences in context. Um, so if there's a discrepancy between what's here and what the MTT says to use here, you, you discard what you have in the grammar introduction and you use whatever your MTTs tell you here when you're translating in context. So. Having said all that, let's go here. Okay, this is layer three, row 21. Layer three, row 21. Okay, so right here. We're going to just say have to, not will have to. Okay.
Generated text is identical. That's the last sentence. Generated text is identical. Let's save it and go to verse 2. You recently was working with. You recently you were working with. Okay. So here recently, we have recently, we entered it as pre-verbal. Let's see if we've used this anywhere else in Ruth. Okay. Okay, this dialogue shows all the occurrences of the word recently in our semantic representations, our source text. And we've been working in the book of Ruth, and it's only occurred one time. So we can change this without affecting any other verses. So let's go ahead and change recently so that it's clause initial. Recently, you was working with the woman, the women. Recently, you were working. Okay, you was. This is layer two, row 40. Okay, past imperfective. Okay, was, we can say, I was working with them, and he was working with them. So this works fine for first person singular and third person singular. But for all of the others, you, singular, you were working with them. We were working. You all were working. They were working. So let's make a copy of this row. And this will be our more generic one. So let's change this to were. Because this, this works for most of the, the person and numbers. Uh, but this one is first and third singular. So we'll edit this. So this is past imperfective, first and third singular. And that example is fine. Okay, and was is fine. We need to change the example here. We'll say I was walking. Okay. Okay, generated text is identical. Generated text is identical. Okay, to winnow. Boys, winnowed the barley. We won't need this rule. By the way, winnow is a complex term. It's, it's here because we've activated it for this audience. If we come here, uh, winnow, right there. If we deactivate it, Okay, Boaz separated the chaff from the barley at the threshing floor tonight. Boaz will separate. So there's always a simple way to say it. If your language doesn't have the complex concept winnow, then you can use this. But English has the word winnow, and for languages that have that word, we want to use it. So we will activate winnow. Generated text is identical. That's the last sentence. Generated text is identical. Let's save it, and we're ready to work on verse 3.